How many buttons on your shirt were undone? The first three. Is the purpose of that to show a bit of cleavage? No. Well, why not two buttons? How about your skirt? Above the knee? Yes. How far above the knee? A few inches. How many inches? Six. <gasps> your Honor, please. The line of cross-examination is directly relevant to the defense case. I'm happy for the jury to hear this, Mr. Reader. When you're waitressing, is it right that you have to lean across tables to serve customers? Yes. But with a skirt that short, it's highly likely that your knickers are going to be visible, isn't it? Which means these defendants would have known that they were skimpy and frilly, wouldn't they? Possibly, were but... Were you flirting with them? The thing about being a waitress is that sort of part of the job. So the answer is yes. A bit, but... When they got drunk and started smashing the glasses, I went into the pub pit out of the way. And then you went back. They pushed me down on the table and ripped my pants off me. Why don't you ask me questions about that? Why go back in? If they'd been behaving as they had, on your own, in your skirt, six inches above the knee, and your shirt with all those buttons undone, in the dark. It was dark, and I was frightened, and it was very confusing. It was so dark that you couldn't see which of the three had hold of you. Really? Yes. And you had no idea who was taunting you, who was doing the so-called egging on? Really? I've told you I don't know which of them was doing what. You've been speaking to them all night, taking orders, laughing, joking, flirting. Are you asking this jury to believe you couldn't tell their voices apart? What are you saying? I'm saying your evidence is a pack of lies. The truth is, 